Well, here's kind of a bittersweet thing I just want to complain about. Uh, this here is probably close to, you know, a 180-year-old flowering dogwood uh, here in our yard that I've just had to cut down. Um, really pains me to have to do that, but she's been on the way out for five years. Um, as you can see here on the stump, the tree was really only alive right here. Uh, everything else was gone. This is where I made the initial cut, and yeah, it's even worse. Only that much of the tree was alive. And you should have seen this before I cut it down. You can just tell from that, you know, there was maybe only 10% of the crown was still alive. Um, there was another one right there that was probably, you know, 60, 70 years old. Not not quite as massive. This is a this is a this is big for a flowering dogwood. That's probably 12 inch diameter at waist height, about three foot up. Um, absolutely gorgeous trees, really handsome. You know, but they they grow incredibly slow. And this this anthracnose, which is a fungal infection, uh, it's just been sweeping through the southeast for the last. I don't know how long, decade or two, and uh, it's finally caught up with our dogwoods. You know, they're they're dying all over the point. Um, there's maybe only one healthy looking one left in the whole area. That's a damn shame. So if you see your dogwood start putting out epicormic budding, which is adventitious growth along the trunk, um, she's gone, I'm sorry. See, this right here, this is epicormic budding. You see how there's just a little tiny baby limb coming out in the middle of the of a branch? And you'll start seeing that coming out all along the trunk. And you see these knurls and these knobs and all these dead branches along the trunk here. Uh, that's all that's all signs of the anthracnose killing off lower limbs and 